Every Juan. Uh, don't mind me while I'm setting up my stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I'm off to my friend's house again. This is a intersection crossing number one. So I figured out, the first time I did this, there, it was just like, I was in a, I was just hoping that I would make it. There was no uh, landmark or anything for me to follow, to know when to turn. I just knew it was far. And, um, cul-de-sac. So what I did was, I walked it again with my GPS on. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I drink a monster and I'm all burpy. Anyway, there, my GPS on. Counted the intersections. Ten intersections. Five driveways to get to my friend's house. Uh, we'll see how that works. Because I know the tenth intersection, I crossed it and then turn left I will say that I only did this one time before this so this is my second time doing this without GPS first time doing it after I counted the intersections so originally I tried doing it by counting the stop signs, because there's less of those. But I believe there's four stop signs. I'm not 100% sure, because I really don't feel like trying to figure out if there's stop signs or not. Um, I just said, forget it, and I'll just count all of the intersections. Rather than trying to figure out, is this a stop like intersection, or is this a regular one? So in my head, it's on the good, you know, less counting, less whatever, but nope, more difficult for me. So, yes. So what I did, in case you guys are wondering, I skipped all the beginning part. The beginning part is easy for me now. This is the hard part. What's that? Nope, nothing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So my thinking is, if I am paying attention to the counting of the intersections, I will not get lost with no GPS. Uh, anyway, I hope everyone's doing fabulous. Fabulous. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today in the beautiful city of San Jacinto. And then it's supposed to be 48 tonight. 32 degree drop. Everywhere else is like 80 and then nighttime is like 70. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. But I love it. Not really. I just love having my own home. My own casa. Sorry, the my cane's annoying, but I'm not good at tapping. Like I feel like if I tap, I'm gonna fall. Let's try for a little bit. <laughs> so, oh look at that supercar. <laughs> I'm scared now. Uh, ay, ay, ay. See, get into an intersection. See, now this one is it a stop sign. Yeah, it is. See the car go. I'm wiping my head and looking away from the intersection. 
Let's go, go. Thank you. See, this is intersection number two. People do that all the time. Uh, I feel like it's uh, it's appreciated, you know. Like I appreciate uh, everybody stopping and trying to be polite to let me go, but I can't see you when you're waving at me. And I purposely look away, do something, like check my phone if I'm not on it. Like, well, if I'm not recording. But I'll check my phone, I'll just do something to make it look like I'm not gonna go, you know? And sometimes people honk at me. Uh, this is intersection number two. I believe, I don't know what that is over there. But I'm kind of in this as an intersection, but it didn't feel like one. It didn't feel like a complete intersection. I don't know what's that way. But not a complete intersection. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, was that three or two? That's three. Shijole. See, what you, look what you made me do, man. Let me forget. I'm going to go with three, though. Go with three. Man. That sucks. Yeah, three. I hope, I don't know. <sighs> Let's see what happens. It's okay, it's all right. I drank water before I left. Um, I'll be all right. I'll just freak out and end the video like I did last time and then, you know, make it home safely. Go to my friend's house. Ooh, ah, ding, dang. Walla, walla, bang, bang. This is intersection four. I believe this is the actual intersection. I don't know what's on the right. One of these is an apartment, apartment place. Um, it scared the crap out of me when I was walking. The gate opened and a little perrito came out. So four, that's four. Almost halfway there. Well, halfway of counting the intersections. I don't know if I'm halfway there. So, what else was I gonna say? Um, I just planted some mint and rosemary at my house. I have my trees going good. Got rid of my trees in my front yard. Plan on getting some more planners and planning like a whole little, on the side of my house, having like a whole little area of just herbs. Um, I was researching the herbs and all these herbs attract some bugs and insects, but repel others. I wonder if there's like a perfect combination where you just grow a bunch of herbs and the herbs themselves attract and repel like all the insects. So let's say mint attracts spiders and bees, but repels mosquitoes and rosemary attracts mosquitoes, but repels spiders and bees. Then we plant both of them and none of those bugs will come. Like it'll attract them and then they'll be like, nope, there's the other one I want to leave. So if anybody has any uh, helpful tips, hints on that, any tips, any ideas, I'm more than happy to hear about them. So that way I could plant my perfect herb garden. Herb. Herb. I'm tired.
the reason I keep recording because you never know if someone's gonna something will happen. Every time I don't record, something happens. I got stuck. My hands all sweaty, arms spaghetti. Dang man. All kinds of stuff happens. It's hot now. I just got hot. Like it wasn't hot. It was not very hot. Like I just started this video and now I'm sweating. Chihole man. So I was for the fifth intersection. Fifth. Numero cinco. Cinco to drinko. Another car, please go. Thank you. I'm going to them. Intersection number five. J5! J5! Shade. You hear that dragon? Man, that dragon's pissed off. She it, man. I would be too. What uh, I mean, there's probably no more. His family's probably all gone. The little dragon babies, dragon wife or husband. I don't know if it's a man or woman dragon. Dragon babies just all alone or gone. I don't know. You know gone from his family. Sorry, dragon. I, I slowed down. I'm getting tired. Oh man. New Skywalker? Oh no, it's music. Oh, it's yeah, I see. Oh, you with the saw. It sounds like they're dentists. It's a dentist. There's a dentist right there. Oh, there we go. Yep. Someone's getting a root canal. Someone over there is getting a root canal, listening to music. And they're doing it in the garage. Garage door open. Instead of a dental chair, they have a barber chair. And they're removing. They're doing a root canal. And the dentist is not even wearing his mask. That's how bad it is over here. I wish I could uh, show you guys more of that guy, but I had to leave. I have to keep walking. I'm on a mission. I just did that. Um, I just walked out of the curb for, to make sure that uh, the street was still there. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes the street moves, so you gotta verify that it's still there. Cause, you know, you don't wanna be walking on the sidewalk and there be no more street. Like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, all right, six. Probably should have looked both ways before I cross. I think this is a stop intersection. Like a stop signs. But I'm not gonna check every time. Like I said. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, dude, here we go. Ooh. Stupid pole. Uh, luckily, that did not hit my face. All right, so that's six, 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 six. If somebody's phone number has 
the number 666, like in a row, next to each other, not like 6165367. It'd be like 1266645. Something like that, you know? Does that mean that person is the devil? Like if that's part of their phone number? Or they're like, does that mean they're not the devil, but like they're devil worshipers? So are you a devil worshiper if your phone number has a 666 in it? If you do, please comment down below. Let me know if you worship the devil. I'm very curious. If you do, I mean, I'd like to ask some good questions. You know, like is there really fire all on there? Why? Can it be cold sometimes? Intersection number seven. Bumping. All right, here I go. Here I go to cross the street. Ah! Cars coming. Cars keep coming. Cars coming knocking. Or the sidewalk. Here it is. Found it. Number seven. So is that really a lucky number? Or is it just because like, there's just, you know, it's just because it's seven, only a certain amount of chances. Lucky number seven, it's a good movie. Um, I don't know why seven is a lucky number. I feel like any number can be lucky as long as you want it to be lucky. This is intersection number eight. I should have looked before I crossed, but I didn't. Thug life. Intersection number eight. That's a country something. Oh my God! Two more to go. Two more to go. Supposedly, the number eight in China is super lucky. I was watching some movie and they said that the, a phone number that was considered of all eight sold for like a half a million dollars. Phone number. Imagine to have that much money to pay for a phone number. Like, I'm gonna work my whole life to buy me a phone number so I could be lucky. Not to make me money, but to be lucky. That's crazy. Intersection number nine. Getting closer. Is nine a lucky number somewhere? Like in mm, nine, nine number nine. Uh, um, I can't think of a country that rhymes with nine. Constantine. Uh, but anyway, I don't think there's anywhere that number nine is. Oh my gosh. Hi. They're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. Hi. Hi. Ah! Don't get me. Don't get me. Don't get me. Whew, safe. I made it. I don't know if you guys saw, but I ran really fast away from the dogs. Pretty big. Mastiffs, I believe. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Massive, Mastiff, Massive, Massive, Mastiff. Uh uh, but those big dogs. Bigger than Great Danes. Uh, but I used to think Great Danes were the biggest. Or Labradoodles. Ah, just kidding, Labradoodles. Man, I hate it when people cut their grass when I'm walking. Sometimes it's so loud and it's so echoey. Oh, it's not. Yeah, get some. Get some. I thought I was, I thought I was a weed <laughs> But it was not. It was a little moto. A little, maybe, a little pocket rocket. 
I want to ride one of those. I want to get one one day. So hopefully we're coming up to the 10th intersection and it's the right one. If it's not, I'll just say peace out, peeps. But uh, I do want to say that I used to be super angry. I mean, I'm still angry, but like, man, I was angry before. But what did you be? Oh, thank you. So this is the 10th intersection, I believe. Sorry. Oh no, I messed up. Cause I, I feel like when I went to the 10th intersection, maybe it's this way. That's the way I know. <laughs> Man. Every time. This is the street. Nope, not as high. Did I pass it? Oh, well. I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm just gonna go back this time. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Cause, and let me see. That way, if this one's wrong, I can go forward and then find the right house. But if I go forward, yep, no, I wish. Yes. So, back to the drawing board, I feel like. Maybe I have to walk it a couple more times before I walk it without a GPS. Oh man, I think I'm going too far. Shikole. Well, I'm about to get all my steps in, son. Yeah, buddy. Mayo. Walking to the street. Oh, oh wow. All right, cool, cool. Let's see if this is the right cul-de-sac. I don't think so. Nope. I don't even think it's the cul-de-sac. One. One. Nope, nope, I'm definitely on the right area. I have no idea what that is, but that's not supposed to be there. Well, by my friend's house. Sounds like a car wash blow dryer. Oh yeah. So this is a Palm Street. I wanted you guys to make sure. I wanted to make sure that you guys saw both sides. Um, walking, me walking each way. The tree's almost hit me, I think. I had to stuck. Stuck. I had to duck. So I was going to slow down and duck. Stuck. Stuck. Now I'm speeding up. Spup. Spupping up. So that way. Dang, y'all was sucking that the, the other way, I, the way I just went was their house, but someone was just like, something new was there. Like they just got a new, a new toy or something. 
Yeah, I feel like it was a gas station or something. Over there. Sorry, I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to pay attention to where I'm walking and talk. Kind of hard to do. Kind of hard to do, cause I don't know what's going on, man. Do do ba do do ka do do ba do. Going to the friend's house, hang out with some friends. Ba do. Who knew that I would get lost so much? Well, I guess everybody would freaking know. I get lost all the time. Huh? I know, huh? See? Whatever that machine is. Ugh. This, this, is, this doesn't even feel like it's their place. I don't think so. I'm going to walk to the next one. Let me see. I think there's... No. Yeah. Pretty sure it's the next one. Why? Why do I think that? Just because I feel like that was a stop sign right there. Um, and they don't live on a stop sign, I think. Or do they? Maybe they do. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna follow my gut. And it's usually wrong, but you know, when I stop following my gut, I'll probably, you know, be dead so instead of being dead i'm just gonna follow my gut and see where it leads me man i think that was a house no no this is, a, this, is a, this is it right here this Find out. One. Wait, go. One. One. I don't remember there being a dog. I don't remember there being a brick thing right there. I don't remember there being rocks. Two. This is it. Okay, I'm lost. Oh, I know I've been lost. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm lost. Huh, I don't know what that is. But, I'm gonna keep waiting for a little bit longer. Let's see what happens. It's a big thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this is not the right way. Let me see if this goes into a cold inside. Oh, So yeah, I'm pretty uh, irritated right now, annoyed, getting angry. I just want to throw my cane at something, but I'm not. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna make a right at the street and then make another right. And if that's not their house, then, oh, I'm gonna say I have to say peace out to you guys. Stupid 
tree hit my leg, bush. It didn't really hurt. It startled me more than anything. I'm so focused on not falling and paying attention to where I'm at. Doo -doo -doo. I feel like this is where having a guide dog would be super helpful. Wow, wow, wow. Yippee, oh, yippee, yay. All right. Keep on keeping on. So now if I don't make it, if this is not their house, then I'm a uh, end of video and then use my GPS to get there. This video should have been quicker because I cut out probably a third of the walk by not recording it. So I did it the first time. Like I said, I used my GPS one time before this and I thought I could do it. But I feel like I need to do it multiple times with GPS. And then I can learn the route without it. So I guess I'm not as good as I once was. But I'm as good as once I'll ever be. I think that's the words. I ain't as good as I once was. One. I drive it. I don't think this is that either. Two. Should be my friend's house, but it's not it. Yeah, this is a through street. All right, well, um, catch you guys later. Gotta go. 33 minutes. Viewfinder. Focus on lock. Viewfinder. 33 minutes. Stop recording video. Button.